guys! We got a new toy, and this is the Traxxas Bronco! And in this video, we're gonna unbox it and then take it out for a blast to see if it's any good. What do you reckon, guys? I reckon it looks absolutely epic! Also, Ark Raceway has a new crawler track, so we're gonna check that out too. So in a minute, we're gonna take it out and test it out, but first, let's have a look to see what's inside. So this video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes. So there's classes about productivity, Photoshop, illustrating, photography, starting a side hustle, and check this out, there's literally thousands of pages of more classes. At the moment, I'm learning about fixing audio issues on the advanced video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro by Geordie Vanderput. So Skillshare is created specifically for learning, so there's no ads and there's always new classes added all the time. Every human is designed to create, so whether you're into painting, photographs, Photoshop, video editing, there's going to be a class for you. Albert Einstein once said, once you stop learning, you start dying. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link down below will get one month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start learning today. So the first thing that you notice, there's no body clips. And if we look under here, it's got some clips inside here. And once you get the hang of it, you can do it in literally a few seconds. And then just as quickly, you can refit it. There we go, all fitted. So you're going to notice there's a whole load of servos in here. So we've got this servo here for the gear change. We've got a high and low transmission that you can change on this switch here. Here we've got diff locks. So you can open up or unlock both the front and the rear differentials. So we're going to show you what that's used for a bit later. So we've got a brushed motor, which is probably not going to be the quickest, but it is a crawler. We've got inner mud guards to keep all the dirt out. And looking underneath, we have front and rear solid axles. And they're actually portal axles, which means that the diff sits higher than the centre line of the wheels. So if we have a look at a normal crawler, if you look at a differential, it is relatively low to the floor. So if we get this wrench here, look, no chance. That is not going under there at all. But then TRX4, check it out, guys, with room to spare. The servo buried in there, look, has now got a metal arm. On the earlier ones, I had a plastic arm and they used to break quite easily. Right, that's enough waffle. I'm not going to bore you with any more techno babble. So I'm just going to put a link down below where you can get all the specifications from and where you can get one from. So battery in and it takes one of these Traxxas free cell lipos perfectly. So steering, plenty of torque, and more than quick enough for a crawler. Look at the amount of steering lock. Now for the speed, first gear, and second gear. And look, here you can see the gear change servo moving, and here, the front and rear diff lock. So in a minute, we're gonna take it down the staircase of doom. Not many cars can make it down this staircase. So first of all, steering travel. Look at that turning circle. So here we go, flat out in crawler gear, first gear. So I'm walking quickly, look to keep up with it. And now we put it into second, speed gear. <laughs> Guys, that is pretty quick. I would actually have to run to keep up with that. There you go. <laughs> See how it's four wins. So more than quick enough for a crawler. So now, the staircase of doom. So we're gonna go back into first gear for a slow descent. All right, wish me luck. Oh, we've beached it. Hand of God. Uh oh, oh! No, 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 no. I'll do it in reverse. There we go. Half conquered. So next, let's do a hill climb. So we're going to start off on 45 degrees because that is an angle that most crawlers should do. Easy, look at that. All right, let's see what the maximum angle can be. Oh, tumble, tumble. So there we go. That is about our limit. Can just make it up there if we're really careful with it. This brush motor, you can really crawl it slowly if you want to. And that is a 52 degrees. All right, flat out. Oh, tumble, rumble. Can we make it over the Project World's fastest RC car? Ah, so now you can see what happens when the diffs are unlocked. So this wheel here, as you can see, is spinning. And on the other side, it's getting no drive at all. So we put in the diff locks. Now watch, we can have drive to both wheels. Yes, look at that. Oh. So here we have the differentials unlocked. And as you can see, it's not getting direct drive to all four wheels. So say, for example, you was like this. The wheels that you want to have drive haven't. And then you look up the diffs. And now look, that one's locked, that one's locked. And now we have drive. Straight over. Next, can we make it across the bridge of doom? Oh, we're on. Oh, 
we're falling, we're falling off. No, 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 Last little bit, can we do it, can we do it? Oh yes, he did it! All right, let's go out and try it out in the real world. Here we are on location at Ark Raceway and we found a friend. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna try. All right, let's do it. So here it starts, we've got to make it all the way along there, all the way up as far as the eye can see. We've got road noise, so yeah, can't do nothing about that. How many hands of God do you reckon you're gonna have? Five. I'm gonna go with two hands of God. Who's gonna get the least amount of hand of gods? Comment down below. Put it straight into low gear. And diff locks. Diff locks make it hard. Oh, 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 that looks impossible. Oh! That's the first hand of God. How many hands of God are you going to need, Ian? Oh, 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 oh. One hand of God so far. <laughs> hand of God number two. Tony's made this impossible. Hand of God number three. Hand of God number four. You guys have got to keep count. I've forgotten already. It's not possible, look. Or is it? Oh, maybe it is possible. I never like the look of strings. Oh, we've done it. We did it. Oh, yes. Hang on. How have they got so far ahead? How many hands have you got of you had? None. Whoa, that is steep. Is that doable? So, so hand of God number, I've lost count. You guys have got to keep count and then comment down below how many hands of God. I think we're on like five or six now, I don't know, I can't remember. Oh. Oh. Right, we're catching up now. Here comes Kev. How many hands have I've lost count, about 10. <laughs> now we have to try and overtake somehow. Yeah, All right, that's it, more power now. We've got to, get, we've got to overtake. Oh no, we've got spinning wheels to get through that obstacle. Oh no, oh no. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, what's happened there? So while Team Hardcore was untangling, we went ahead and won the race. Well, that's the end of it now, look, there, boom. All right, next, TRX4 versus Racetrack. So here we go for our lap on the Ark Raceway Racetrack. In front, we got the Hardcore Team Hardcore RC. Behind, we got the Ark Raceway Racetrack. In front, we got the Hardcore RC TRX4. They're running a 3S DXF battery. I'm running the stock 3S Traxxas LiPo. Oh, here comes Ian. Oh, we've got no hope with that, have we? Ian's running a Castle Mamba X brushless combo. That's why he's so fast. Here we go, over the line. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? Oh, oh it's getting close. It's close. It's close. It's close. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We did it.
like, subscribe, bell button, thumbs down if you suck, and if you click on one of these videos here, I will see you over there in a minute.